Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. As you guys can see up on the screen today, I want to talk a little bit about SoFi Technologies Incorporated. Once again, this is ticker symbol SOFI or SoFi. Same ticker symbol as the company makes it really easy, uh, really, really nice that way. Uh, and this is a very, very popular stock that we've been following. I want to say for around like a month, a couple of weeks at least on this channel. Uh, today, not exactly a great day for SoFi. I, I mean, we kind of got baited here uh, and really the whole stock market did. Um, SoFi was up intraday. Things were looking pretty good we got all the way up uh to an intraday high of 1386 and th that was nice that was a nice little jump up in, in in a year uh 2022 where we've seen you know a lot of red days a whole lot of red i think one two three four maybe four green days the whole year so far um it, it was nice it, it was nice that we were seeing a little bit of green actually so if i was having a very very solid day but then um right around this time uh 2 30 ish at least my time the market started to sell off uh, all over the place and so far you know was not outside of that group at all it went from decently green to, to decently red down 1.4 percent on the day now after hours we are going up a little bit yet again up 0.87 percent after hours but hey i wouldn't read too much into the after hours you know we never really like to do that it's low volume it's high volatility it's weird it's crazy um we'll see what has in store for tomorrow but Today we were down, um, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about what exactly is going on with SoFi, um, some of the news around the market, some of the news around this stock, uh, give some some pretty big and interesting updates. Uh, obviously, no financial advice in this video. I'm not telling you to buy, sell, do anything like that. I'm just kind of covering some stories, covering the market, uh, and talking about the stock a little bit, giving my thoughts and opinions on some of these stories. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy that. I would appreciate it so, so much. Uh, subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content, and uh, consider checking out the first link in the description below for the Patreon uh, to help support my channel and my content. Content. With that being said, let's get right into this. <clears throat> Uh, obviously the markets as a whole just kind of wanted to get an update on them just to show you guys a little bit of what I was talking about up here you can see Dow Jones down 0.38 percent today S&P down 0.15 percent NASDAQ uh, actually up 0.02 percent it barely eked out a green day uh, and the Russell was down pretty big uh, minus 1.38 percent so obviously the smaller cap stocks getting hit a little bit harder um, so if I kind of bunch into that group you know they're at a 10 billion dollar market cap it's not tiny but they're you know relatively small when you're looking at uh, especially some of these other uh, you know massive massive tech companies and fintechs and financial institutions and all this stuff um so again rough day for the market overall yes sofi underperformed the indices and, and the greater market but uh that's kind of generally what you expect you know in the green days uh more risky volatile growth stocks like sofi are going to overperform the market generally not always um and on these red days generally not always they're going to underperform the market and that's just kind of what we saw here so again i'm not worried i wouldn't be worried about that too much uh you know if the market was green going crazy today if growth stocks and tech stocks and everything was running up huge and so if i was down maybe i'd be a little bit more concerned but when the whole market's down and so is down 1.4 Hey, that's just kind of, you know, a normal day in the market. Yeah, 1.4%. Again, after we're already down 19.7% on the year, probably doesn't feel the best, but hey, what are you going to do? You know, this is kind of the situation we're in at this point. <clears throat> Some of the interesting news coming out today, uh, this is from the SoFi Stock subreddit, saying, good to see the SoFi name shown a few times on Pepsi's official Super Bowl trailer. Um, this was posted six days ago and it has 5.7 million views already. So this isn't like brand new, but um, leading up to the NFC Championship game and the Super Bowl, which are both going to be hosted in SoFi Stadium, uh, you know, in Los Angeles area, California, um, we're going to get a lot of publicity and a lot of branding for SoFi. This is, um, you know, a really, really great investment that they made getting the naming rights for the stadium. And now they're going to be showed to, yeah, millions and millions and millions of people over the next couple of weeks. Um, and, you know, is that going to have some crazy direct uh, impact on SoFi, you know, in the short term? Are things just going to explode? No, 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 nothing like that. But hey, um, again, people advertise, people market for a reason. And this is some pretty good advertising, pretty good marketing to be showing up uh, just in front of so many people. Um, and and hey, maybe some people check it out. Maybe some people, um, you know, download the app. Maybe some people get signed up. Maybe some people get into the SoFi ecosystem. Who knows? But either way, uh, there's going to be a ton of eyeballs on SoFi Stadium, on the SoFi name, the SoFi brand, the SoFi logo, all this stuff. Uh, and this is really, really cool. NFL, you know, one of the biggest sports and competitions in the world. NFC Championship game, huge. Super Bowl, even huger. Uh, so this is kind of cool, kind of interesting, you know, 5.7 million views, uh, definitely not a bad thing, you know, who knows how great it is actually, um, and yeah, you know, it's not super visible, Visible, it's not the, the main attraction of this ad or this trailer or anything like that, but hey, it's on the screen, it's there, some people are going to see it, uh, it can only be good, it can only help. <clears throat> We also have this. 
Um, this, uh, I bet most of you guys didn't know that SoFi had partnered with Samsung and Microsoft. Very, very interesting, uh, short little video that somebody posted, um, you know, talking about Samsung pay with Samsung money by SoFi. Um, actually very, very interesting. Um, and you know, they just have this like nice little trailer here, uh, and all this stuff, um, talking about, you know, exclusive discounts, all this stuff, uh, about, you know, a new card and, and yeah, just a partnership working together. SoFi working, um, you know, with massive, massive brands here like Samsung, uh, for Samsung money. And, and Samsung Pay and all this stuff. Um, cool, cool. I, I mean, again, a lot of people are saying this isn't a big deal. Also, people are saying, "Where's Microsoft in this?" And that's kind of what I was wondering as well. I don't, I don't necessarily understand how Microsoft's involved in this. Um, but Samsung is a big company, big partnership. Yes, people knew, you know, Samsung money by SoFi was already a thing. But hey, a lot of people didn't know that. A lot of people. When SoFi is a growing company, a lot of people are going to be new. A lot of people are just going to be learning about SoFi. A lot of people are just going to be jumping into their full suite of products and services and everything out there. So it doesn't make sense to, to shame people or flame people like, yes, we all knew that SoFi money was a thing. Like, no, obviously we didn't all know that SoFi money was a thing because uh, this got upvoted and it's on the front page of the subreddit. So some people didn't know. And if everybody already knew, that would be a bad sign. That would mean there's no growth. There's no new users. There's no new people coming in for SoFi. You should want to greet those people with open arms. You should want to educate them, help them learn, be like, yeah, hey, this uh, is actually a thing that's been out for this long. Here's uh, how it's doing. Here's how popular it is, you know, stuff like that. Not just trying to shit on people. That's super, super weird. That's not uh, a good thing that you want if you're trying to grow your community and people because that's just kind of, you know, being an asshole, kind of putting people off to it. Um, but yeah, Samsung Money by SoFi, really, really cool thing. Um, having those big partnerships in place. Uh, also, some people talking about whether or not they've switched direct deposit to SoFi after this new bank charter uh, has come out. Now that we know that you know though there are they are officially going to be a bank. You know we've heard the CEO talking about how they want to offer one percent uh, interest on uh, checking accounts and stuff like that. You know really being an industry leader uh, in terms of interest rates and all this stuff, uh, doing some really really cool awesome stuff that people are excited about. So yeah, are people you know switching over? Are people going to be trusting their money with SoFi. Uh, and I mean, it seems like it, you know, people are saying, Hey, I'm going to move all my funds to SoFi as soon as I implement wire capability. Um, I was depositing $200 a paycheck and the rest in a BOA, but now goodbye BOA. Uh, I moved from, I moved my direct deposit a while back to SoFi. And you know, obviously this is a SoFi community, but again, it's got to start somewhere. If your own super, super passionate SoFi people aren't even using you, you know, that's not a great sign, but yes, people are jumping into this. People are transitioning over, um, you know, hopefully in, in the future earnings reports, next couple of quarters, we'll see a big jump up, uh, in terms of, you know, the actual money that, uh, SoFi is actually handling and dealing with on a daily quarterly, whatever basis. Obviously a ton of people out there, you know, right now are asking why is SoFi stock being, uh, suppressed so badly? Green days go up a little, red days go down a lot. Uh, and you know, if I had to put an answer to that question, obviously nobody knows, but part of it is the fact that right now, again, the broader markets are not doing that well. Is SoFi having a bad year being down 20% in 26 days and even less training days? Yes, absolutely. That sucks. And is it weird that it keeps going down and down and down despite, um, you know, good growth numbers, um, getting closer to profitability, um, actually securing their bank charter officially, all these partnerships, all this cool stuff going on. Yeah, it's a bit strange because uh, again, we've, we've been at much higher prices. You know, we've been as high as 28, 26 in the past 52 weeks. Uh, and that was without so much of this good news and without, um, you know, so much of this progress and growth and, and all these things. Um, so it is kind of weird, but again, the market as a whole is, is kind of weird right now. And it's been weird for a couple of years. Um, but SoFi is, you know, one of these big growth companies that people think may be affected by rising interest rates, may be affected um, by, you know, the, all this new kind of monetary policy and inflation and, and just affected by all these different things. So people are a little bit worried. You know, people are going for safer stocks. People are going for larger stocks. People are pulling out of stocks altogether. Um, and speaking of that, one last big update we did have here was for Meet Kevin. We know, we talked just a couple of days ago, I think it was like Friday, um, that he sold out of 99% of his stocks uh, and he had, I believe, a seven-figure position in SoFi. So people are like, oh, what the heck? You know, he just bailed out of his seven-figure position in SoFi. Like, should I be worried? Should I be getting out? What's going on? But he tweeted out today, buying small caps before the FOMC meeting. Based on the latest data I'm reading, J-Pow is a hedged event and it's entirely possible shorts uh, bet against oversold small caps unwind it's entirely possible shorts uh, that bet against oversold small caps unwind I don't know, it's not even that's not proper english but whatever more pain can still come though i expect guidance on taper ending uh 315 and a 0.25 percent interest rate hike then so he's buying a bunch of these you know what he deems oversold small cap stocks and he does give us a list tattooed chef lemonade lazr mttr uh hut um nndm sofi bkkt and s F 
T. So um, he says he is now 45% long, 0.01% short, and still 55% in cash, but uh, he has loaded back up on SoFi, at least to some extent. I don't know if he's back, you know, fully in his seven-figure position or whatever, uh, and this is super, super weird because, again, I believe he sold out Friday, uh, and if he did sell out Friday, we were at 1389 and, you know, if he bought back today, maybe he got it around 13 or 12 or something, so maybe he lowered his cost base a little bit, um, I guess, from where he sold to where he's buying now. Um, either way, super, super strange, super weird that, uh, you know, like, what, five days later, four days later, he's already back in the market, but hey, maybe that's a good sign for SoFi. Maybe, um, you know, some of these investors are, are starting to, you know, buy the dip and maybe think it's the bottom. I don't exactly know, but obviously, Meet Kevin is a big, big YouTuber with a lot of, um, you know, in terms of the stock market, so it's not like he's going to be moving markets, but um, he can influence and, and reach a lot of people through Twitter, YouTube, all this stuff, um, and can affect some people's overall general sentiment. So who knows, but just wanted to give you guys that update. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Tell me, drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about SOFI. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date on all the latest content. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.